Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Technos, you got it, product review. Renogy has just released a smart, all-in-one energy monitoring system that lets you remote monitor your entire off-grid system from battery state of charge to solar controller inputs to inverter outputs, and it also offers some pretty cool home automation options that lets you control appliances remotely or even set up automation routines all through its built-in touchscreen interface and app. It is called the Renogy One, but is it any good? Let's find out. Okay. Renogy's all-in-one energy monitoring system offers total remote monitoring of your entire off-grid solar system. In this case, I have a Renogy solar controller, a Renogy Bluetooth lithium iron phosphate battery, one of their 1000 watt pure sine inverters, a communication hub, several of these BT2 Bluetooth communication, four different sensors, which I'll talk about a little bit more later, this can control all of these and more. This is just a sample offering of what Renogy has that this thing can control. It offers customizable home automation, supports Bluetooth, RS-485, and RVC protocols that are supported by most Renogy products. It monitors state of charge of the battery and input and output rate, solar controller charge rate, and inverter loading. The Renogy One portal, which you can access on a computer or mobile device, let you monitor everything on one screen on your computer from any location. You can also monitor all the same information on your mobile device through the DC Home app, including real-time updates, historical data, and error alerts. So if something is wrong, it will ping your phone and let you know. And you can add smart sensors to do various things. I have the four sensors right here that they offer, which is a door and window. So you can actually put this on a door or a window and when it, uh, the magnet is broken, it sends a signal. This is pretty cool. It's a little tiny battery powered motion sensor. So you could stick this in an inconspicuous place and when motion is triggered, it will do something for you. And what that something is, is up to you. You can have it turn on lights, you can have it turn on a heater, you can have it do all kinds of stuff. And then this is the relay. The relay allows you to hook multiple appliances in the one little box and that will let you control remotely. And this of course is their smart outlet, which you can plug any device up to 1800 watts and it will control it remotely. Or if you don't want to control it remotely, you can control it directly through these push buttons on the Renogy One, which is pretty fantastic. So with this suite of sensors, you can do all kinds of automation in your off-grid cabin, your home, or your RV. For example, if you have the window sensor set and somebody opens your window, it can set off an alarm and notify you. And what might be a good use for the motion sensor, say you're in a remote location, you don't expect other people to be around. You can stick this just about anywhere as long as it doesn't get wet because it's really not an outdoor sensor. But if you put it in a place where it's not going to get wet, you can use this to detect motion around your cabin or RV. If somebody comes by and triggers the motion sensor, you will get notified. Now this is the actual Renogy One device. It has a four inch color touchscreen and six physical buttons which you can customize to control home appliances directly. Now, another cool thing these sensors can do is they can be set up to trigger a built-in siren, so it will alert anybody nearby that you are on to them, and again, notify you of any activity. Renogy does offer four separate packages for the Renogy One, and that depends on your needs. Now, you can just get the basic Renogy One, which is just this touchscreen of ice and nothing else, or you can get one of their subscription packages with various sensors and remote abilities depending on what you need. Now the annual subscription packages do allow remote monitoring anywhere in the world and it does offer smart home automation and alerts depending on which package you get. You also get access to off-grid resources such as solar yield forecasts, weather forecasts, and if you're looking for a campsite they can even help you with that. Of course, you can use the Renogy One monitor totally without a subscription or without the sensors. Now, I know what a lot of you are gonna say, a subscription, I'm not interested in a subscription. If you're worried about that price of an annual subscription, Renogy offers something called the Helios program, where you can get credit called Renogy Rays, isn't this creative, 
for every kilowatt hour of solar power you generate. So yeah, every kilowatt hour of power you generate with your solar panels can go towards credit for these Renogy rays. So you can actually cash in or redeem those Renogy rays to go towards your annual subscription fee. Essentially, you could get the top tier subscription absolutely free after generating only 660 kilowatt hours of power in a year. That sounds like a lot, but that's really only 1800 watt hours a day, which can be done pretty easily with 400 watts of solar panels just about anywhere in the country. All right, so what's the catch? There always is one. This one does have a pretty big catch. Currently, the Renogy One only works with Renogy branded devices like their smart batteries, solar controllers, and inverters. So if you already have a non-Renogy off-grid solution, the Renogy One really isn't going to do much for you unless you're just into the home automation tech. Now, Renogy says that eventually they're going to add things like smart shunts so that you can use your own batteries, but that's still on the drawing board to my understanding as of the making of this video. Now, the upside is that the setup using Renogy products is super easy. I'm going to show you that in a minute. It's essentially just plug and play. So let me go ahead. I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to show you piece by piece how to put it together and how to program your devices into the Renogy One. Okay, so I have completely wiped my Renogy One. I've removed all sensors and all these products that I added during my own testing. And I'm gonna show you guys how to add this stuff back in, how simple and how easy this thing is to use. Now remember, this is actually a touchscreen and these are physical switches which can be programmed. I'm not gonna go over this part because I don't think most people care about the physical switches. Plus, it's just as easy to set them up. I'm gonna focus on the touchscreen and adding all these devices just to show you how quick and easy it is. So, first things first, this is actually hooked up to the battery because it does need power. So I am sending power to this. I'm also sending power to the hub. So this hub is physically wired into the battery in the same place. This hub allows you to use one Bluetooth controller. Now these are called BT2s. If you know anything about Renogy products, they offer these BT2 Bluetooth devices to plug into things like their solar controllers. Like I have three or four solar controllers from Renogy and I have one of these on each one. And what this does is allows you to use your phone to control your solar controller remotely. So here is, this is one of their cheaper Rover Elites. It does not have built-in Bluetooth, so you have to actually add one of these BT2s. And it's just a regular network cable, RS-485. And you just click it in like that, and it's ready to go. As soon as you power this up, this gets powered up. There are no buttons or anything on this. So once this is powered up, this can now be detected through Bluetooth. So you could typically use the Renogy app to look and control it this remotely. But the Renogy One lets you go a step further. It actually monitors everything coming in and out of this, which is fantastic. So I wanna show you a couple different ways to hook this up. So let's say you have a bunch of stuff you wanna hook up and you only wanna use one of these. These things are like 30 or 40 bucks just for one of the Bluetooth things. So what you can do is you can use the communication hub. And this is wired into power. And all you have to do is where it says primary, plug in your Bluetooth. And you see that minute that I plug it in, the light comes on telling you that it's powered. Now, if I went to sync my phone, you see a little blue light blinking on there too, letting you know that Bluetooth is synced. Now that this is hooked up, this entire hub will now communicate with this, which will send the data to the Renogy One. So you can plug up to eight Renogy devices in here and it will communicate with all eight of them. So here is a basic network cable. You can buy these anywhere. This was included with the package that I got from Renogy. But all you'd have to do is pick any one of these ports and then plug it in, plug in the cable on one side. And then on the other side where you would typically plug in the Bluetooth, you just plug the cable in. So now, when this is powered, it will communicate with the hub. The hub will send all that information through Bluetooth back to the Renogy One. Now the Renogy One does everything through three different protocols. Uh, in this case, it's pretty much all gonna be Bluetooth. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook these alligator clips, which is going to the inverter. Now if you ever wire up an inverter, it's simple. Black and red wires, negative and positive. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to the battery. 
Now, this is a temporary connection. Obviously, if you are wiring this into a vehicle or something, you're gonna use permanent cables. This is just for testing purposes and demo purposes. Now, in order for this to communicate with the Rangi One, in this case, we're gonna add a BT2 Bluetooth adapter to the only connection that's possible, the communications port. So you just have to click on Add Devices, and it's actually going to automatically scan for all the devices. Now, it is recommended to add one device at a time. Don't hook the whole system up and then expect the Rangi One to find it all. I notice it works a lot better if you do one device at a time. So let's start with the battery first, since the battery is already on and it's got Bluetooth built in. Let's let it detect the battery and add it. So there it is, it found the battery via Bluetooth. We click on Add. And there it is, it now synced on the home screen. It is showing 99% battery. So now let's go ahead and turn this on. This is the inverter with the Bluetooth adapter. Let's go ahead and add that to the Renogy One. Add device, and it's going to go ahead and scan automatically for whatever Bluetooth devices you have available. It detected the door sensor, because I had the door sensor back there. This does not have an on and off switch, so let's just go ahead and add the door sensor. Oh, and the inverter now showed up. Okay, so let's go ahead and add those both. We'll just go ahead and add the door sensor. She just did it automatically. So let's just go ahead and add those. Add it successfully. So now we've got the battery, the inverter, and the door sensor. Last but not least, we have the solar controller to hook up. So I just put some temporary wires on here so I could give it power because in order for this to be detected, you have to run power to the battery terminals. So what we're gonna do for this solar controller Instead of actually hooking the Bluetooth directly to it, which would be the, obviously the simplest way, I wanna show you the communication hub. So we have the regular network cable we're plugging into the RS-485 port on the solar controller. Now, I think virtually any decent solar controller from Renogy is gonna have this port. So we got that plugged in, we'll set this right here. And here we have the Renogy communication hub, which is already powered from the battery. First, we're gonna plug our BT2 Bluetooth adapter into the primary port. So just click it right in there. Make sure the switch is set to RS-485. So that guarantees that you're using the right communication protocol. And then the other side of the cable going to the solar controller goes into any one of these ports. I just pick any one at random, it doesn't matter. Now, in order for the Renogy One to pick this up, we do have to power it. Let's give it some juice. And you see, it is lit up. So it is telling us we have 13.1 volts coming in from the battery, which means now on the Renogy One, it should easily be detected. So let's go ahead, go into add device, and it should pretty quickly find the solar controller. There it is. So it's already checked. You just have to press add, add it successfully, got it. Now you can see we have everything added. We have the battery, inverter, solar controller, and then the door sensor. So in order to save time on this video, I'm not gonna add all the sensors and demonstrate all the sensors. Everyone knows what a motion sensor does and what a door sensor does if you've ever had any kind of alarm system on your home. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at what the Renji One is telling us about our devices. So here we are on the home screen. You can see that because we are pulling a little bit of power to power all this, the battery is slightly discharging and says we can run for five days, 20 hours on our current load. You can see down here, specifically, if you click on the battery, it gives you all the information you could ever want about your battery, including uh, remaining time, present current, battery level, its capacity, the voltages, and the information Scrolls all the way down to you can see the cell voltages, which is very handy if you're having issues with your battery. This, this battery, uh, if it had a heater in it, would tell you if it was heating or not. It even gives you the temperature, which is pretty awesome. So with this, you can clearly see the level of detail you get that you wouldn't get out of a different monitor. Okay, next let's click on controller. Controller? Yes, the controller, the controller and see what information we get about the solar controller. So you can see, obviously we have no solar hooked up to it, so it's not charging, but it gives you the volts, amps, watts, your energy produced, what the battery is set to, battery amps, the type of battery, temperature. Again, so much information, it just gives you everything that you need to know about your solar controller. 
Now, if you have more than two devices, you just have to scroll and it gives you all the other devices. So the inverter will tell you from minimum to maximum, like I said, this is a thousand watt inverter and it is currently at 1% load because it's just turned on and not running anything. But it gives you the DC volts, your Hertz, the temperature of the inverter, all that stuff is right there for you. Now in the basic settings, you can do network, date and time, temperature units. You can pair it with the DC Home app and you can reboot it and there's firmware updates. In fact, uh, when I first started this thing up, it did have a firmware update, which I did. And it does offer automatic updates and it does say that I am up to date with today's version. Now, if you wanna get a little more fancy, you can actually change the theme. But in this case, you can see I need a subscription to do that, so I'm stuck with the dark theme for now. Uh, you can change the orientation of the screen, so say you have this mounted in a different way. You could set sleep mode, so this thing automatically will turn the screen off. I have it on never for this video. And you can adjust the backlight setting, either leave it on automatic or turn it up and down. So that's all she wrote about the Renogy One. So what about some of the important specs? The Renogy One does support Wi-Fi, but only the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. So if you're running a five gigahertz router, you're gonna to need to open up a 2.4 gigahertz channel in order for this to see your Wi-Fi network. It does have built-in Bluetooth 2.1 and 4.2 with Bluetooth LE, along with Zigbee support for hooking up Renogy devices without Wi-Fi. Now the Renogy One is very power efficient. It only uses two and a half watts of power on standby, so that shouldn't be an issue for anybody running 24 seven on most off-grid systems. It can be powered directly from eight to 16 volts DC or via five volt USB-C. So you can absolutely power it from a solar generator if you want it or needed to. And yes, because it supports up to 16 volts DC, it doesn't matter what your alternator is doing in your vehicle, whether it's charging or not. Now as for size, the thing is pretty small. It's only seven by three and a half by one and a half inches thick at less than 0.6 pounds. It can be flush mounted to most surfaces and this is an indoor device. So don't try to mount it outdoors. You can't get it wet. As for the warranty, the Renogy One does come with a two year manufacturer's warranty. And if you're interested in trying out one of those subscription plans before you buy it, when you get the Renogy One, there is a 30 day trial when you purchase the product. So what do I think about the Renogy One? Well, the Renogy One is definitely a very cool concept. It's very easy to set up, very easy to use. The touchscreen is fantastic and with sensors and cool home automation options, I could really add some security and peace of mind when I'm away from my RV. Now, if I had a seasonal off-grid cabin or property somewhere I was worried about, I definitely want one of these along with a couple of solar powered cameras to keep an eye on my stuff. But that being said, I am not really a fan of the subscription services, but at least Renogy makes it pretty easy for you to get the optional annual subscription for free just by generating your own power. So it's really not a big deal. Now, the other thing that was confusing to me was I thought the Renogy One would be coming in some kind of discounted bundle with other Renogy products. It does not, at least not yet. Renogy should really be offering this product in a bundle with what you see here a battery, a solar controller, and an inverter. For example, they sent me this 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate smart battery. It has a Bluetooth shunt built in. This battery is very cool. It's also a bit pricey. They also sent me a thousand watt pure sign inverter and a 40 amp solar controller along with the communication hub and some Bluetooth stuff and then all the sensors. This would have actually been a perfect starter bundle for somebody who is just getting started. Say you have a van build and you want to keep it simple, you could get what you see right here in a bundle, hook it up to your rig and be ready to go and you can expand in the future. This communication hub supports up to eight devices so you can plug in all kinds of Renogy stuff and control it all through the Renogy One. Now, why Renogy didn't come out with some kind of bundle of Renogy products is kind of beyond me. To me, that is a no-brainer solution. I think a lot of people would buy something like this all-in-one solution instead of having to figure out all the parts and stuff you need yourself. Now, hopefully Renogy is gonna pay attention to this video and they'll come out with some bundles for you guys. 
Now, the biggest letdown for me is the fact that you have to use all Renogy products to really enjoy the full functionality of this monitor. Now, sure, you can just skip the solar controller or skip the inverter or even skip the batteries. They're just not going to show up on the screen. But the whole point of this is to control everything and to see everything on one little touchscreen, which is great when you have all Renogy products. But most of you watching this video probably already have some kind of off-grid system set up and you don't want to have to buy all the pieces over again unless you're already using Renogy, in which case that's great. Now, Renogy did say they were going to eventually offer a smart shunt so you could use your own batteries, but I don't know any timeline of when that's going to come out. So if cost is not an issue, the Renogy batteries are the best and some of the blingest on the market. Now, I have been actually running a pair of their heated 48 volt smart batteries outside in the weatherproof Renogy Lycan power box to run the lab. So everything you see here is actually running off of solar going into a Renogy Lycan, which is outside in 25 degree temperatures. We had a drop down to seven degrees last week and no problems whatsoever. I was able to come in here and do everything I needed to do. Those batteries kept chugging along just fine. Oh, and yes, I figured out it is entirely possible to hook the Renogy One into the Renogy Lycan for some proper monitoring. And I'm certainly gonna have to do a video on this in the future because the biggest flaw with the Lycan has been the monitoring of the power coming in and out. I really want to have an alert when those batteries are about to die. And when I don't get an alert, the power goes out here. This is running on my Starlink internet and everything. So when the power goes out, it's a big deal. We lose internet in the house. And that's been a real big pain in the buttocks. So what about pricing? Renogy One is actually extremely affordable. The base Renogy One, which is just this, no subscriptions, no sensors, nothing else, is only 159 bucks. That's a fantastic price when you consider that most good battery monitors like a Victron cost quite a bit more than that. And if you're already bought into your energy products for your off-grid property or RV, this is a no-brainer purchase that will allow you to monitor and control your entire system in one place. Now you can get just the Renogy One, buy the smart sensor separately without any kind of subscription, and have a mini home automation set up too via the DC Home app for dirt cheap. Now, when it comes to subscription plans, the price of course goes up. Their top tier Smart Life Plus gets you a pair of the door and window sensors, a motion sensor, the smart plug, and a smart relay for 319 bucks. And I believe that includes the first year of subscription service. Now, at the time of this filming, I was still working on a promo code with Renogy to save you guys some money on this product. The details about that discount will be in the description of this video at the time it posts, so be sure to check that out. I should also have a discount code that will knock some money off of other Renogy products like their smart batteries, inverters, and solar controllers. So if you're just starting off on your build for an off-grid system, you'll be able to get a discount on just about everything Renogy sells. So again, that information will be in the description of this video. So if you're interested in the Renogy One, the link with the discount code will be in the description of the video below. I'll also place a link here at the bottom of the screen that you can type in manually along with a QR code that you can scan on a mobile device that will take you on over to the Renogy website where you can check out the really cool Renogy One. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. One. We are one. One is the beginning. Are you one, Herbert? I am not Herbert. He's not Herbert. We reach. RV Golf Guy. Von Rob. Brian Lewis. John Stacey Soroka. Dr. Steve Eisenhower.